Hello, folks. This is a complete EmuDeck Nintendo 3DS emulation setup guide. I hope this will be the only guide that you need to play 3DS games on the Steam Deck. This is a very detailed video, so I have broken it into several chapters as shown on the screen. You can easily skip to the chapters that you are interested in. This 3DS emulator is working incredibly well on the deck. We can play most of the 3DS at 720p with 60fps on this 7-inch screen. The visual improvement is huge compared to the original 3DS. To be honest, I cannot tell whether this is a 3DS game or Switch game. Another great feature of the 3DS emulator is the fast-forward feature, which allows us to speed up the game whenever we want during the gameplay. Now let's jump into the tutorial. The EmuDeck installation is pretty easy. I will quickly explain the installation process here. I will only cover the EmuDeck 3DS emulation in this video. First, we need to switch to desktop mode on the Steam Deck. From desktop mode, use your Firefox internet browser and go to EmuDeck official website. I have the EmuDeck linked in my video description. From this website, we can directly download the EmuDeck installation file. Once it is downloaded, we can click Show in Folder. We need to copy the EmuDeck installation file onto our desktop in order to process this installation. And this is mandatory. Then we can double-click on the EmuDeck installer from the desktop. Click Continue on this pop-up window to confirm this installation. Let's select the custom mode here, which will give us more options to set up the EmuDeck. Then click Continue. I highly recommend to use SD card for your emulation games. Even with E1 type SD card, it works perfect with emu decks. So we will pick SD card as storage here. On this page, obviously, we need to select Steam Deck. On this screen, it shows all emulators that are currently supported by emu deck. I will disable all the emulators except for 3DS emulator, which is called Citra, with the half orange icon, since I only cover 3DS emulation in this video. But you can always come back to this page and install any emulators that you like later on. I will leave everything on for this page since Emuldeck has already done all the configurations, so we can take advantage of this. The auto save feature is not available for 3DS emulator. So I will turn this off here. I don't want to be a member of Retro Achievement, so just click skip here. On the next couple pages, you can pick any options you like. It's all about your personal tastes for the emulation game. I would like to set up my 3D games at 16 by 9 screen ratio and keep the 2D games at 4 by 3. You can pick any emulation station theme here. I personally like the RB simple style. Then click next. On this page, I don't want to install any homebrew, so I will just select no here. The emu deck now start processing all the installation. It will take about 2 minutes to complete everything here. After everything's done, we can click exit. Now we have complete the emu deck installation on the Steam Deck. The original EmuDeck installer is now changed to EmuDeck access icon on the desktop. That's all for the EmuDeck installation. Now it's time to copy some 3D games onto our Steam Deck. I have all my downloaded games stored on this hard drive. I prefer to download all games on my Windows PC and then to copy them to the Steam Deck. The Steam Deck SD card cannot be read on the Windows PC or Mac directly, so use a portable hard drive or a USB flash drive to transfer the game from your PC to Steam Deck is the easiest way to do. In this section, I will only cover the decrypted 3DS format games, which are the most common 3D ROMs that can be found on the internet. Also, this is the easiest type to use. Let's go to my external hard drive on the Steam Deck. I have 3 decrypted 3DS format ROMs here. All we need to do here is copy them from the external hard drive and paste them into the Steam Deck SD card. Make sure you paste them into the correct location on the Steam Deck SD card as shown on my screen. After the copying process is finished, we can unplug the external hard drive for now. Also, we can close this window. 
The next step we need to do is to bring the 3DS games into the Steam OS gaming mode interface. So every time we boot up the Steam Deck, the 3DS games will show up in our Steam OS library. To do this, we need to click the Emu Deck icon on the desktop and then click to and stuff. From here, we need to select Steam Room Manager. Click yes for this pop-up window. First, disable the parsers, otherwise the Emu Deck will scan all the game rooms. I recommend only enable the emulators that you are going to use and disable the rest of them. Since we only deal with the 3DS games, so I will only enable the Nintendo 3DS Citro here. Then we can click Save button on the bottom left side. Then we need to click on the Preview button from the top left corner. Then click Generate App List from the bottom of the screen. We can now see all the 3DS games we just copied show up here. Also, we can change the game album picture from here. But for now, we can just click Save App List button. This will create the game title on our Steam OS interface. Now we can just close Emu Deck and return to the Steam Deck gaming mode. After we get into the Steam Deck gaming mode, just go to the library. We will see there are two new tabs show up. One is called Collection. Under this tab, it will classify emulation games by the emulation system. The other tab is called No Steam Game. Under this tab, you will see all the emulation games that have been installed on the Steam Deck. We can start up the Mario Kart 7 from here directly. For the 3DS emulation, we need to set up the controller for each game after the first time booting up. To do this, simply press the Steam button, then select the Controller Settings. Under the Controller Layout template, we need to select Emu Deck Citro 3DS as template. This controller setup process needs to be set for every single game when it's booted the first time. After the controller setup is done, the rare buttons on the Steam Deck will have those function as shown on the screen. The best feature of the Emu Deck, in my opinion, is that it allows us to access all the emulation games from Steam OS interface directly. This is just so convenient. That's all for how to add the decrypted 3DS ROMs and set up the controller. In this section, I will show how to use the CRA format games with the 3DS emulator. As before, I have my 3DS game ROMs stored on this external hard drive. Let's plug it into the Steam Deck now. We can go to the external hard drive and you will see I have two CRA format 3DS games here. Let's try to install them into the Steam Deck SD card. What you need to do here is to open the 3DS emulator software Citra. Then go to the top menu bar and select file and click install CRA. Next, just navigate to the external hard drive where the CRA ROMs are stored. We can just double click on one CRA file to install it. If your installation process is complete without any issue, then you can follow the step in chapter 2 to add the game into the Steam OS gaming mode interface. But if you have the error message like what it shows on my Steam Deck, that means the CRA file is not decrypted. We have to decrypt the CRA file first in this case, and this process needs to be done on a Windows PC. I will try the other CRA file on my external hard drive and see if it has the same error message. So this CRA file got the same error message. That means both CRA files that I have here are not decrypted yet. Let's move to my Windows PC and I will show how to decrypt them. It is pretty simple to do. I just unplug the hard drive from the Steam Deck and then plug into the Windows PC here. So here is my Windows PC screen. We can see the two CRA files that are stored on external hard drive. Now we need to go to this website. I already have it linked under my video description. Just click the download link. This is the software we need to decrypt the CRA file. After the download is complete, we can click show in folder. Then use 7-zip to unzip the downloaded file. We can delete the original zip file. If you go inside this folder, you should have all those files. 
All we need to do is copy the CRE files from the external hard drive and then paste them into the software folder we just unzipped. We can copy and paste multiple CRE files at once. Make sure the CRA files are inside this folder. Then we need to double click on batch CRA 3D as decrypto. The software is not decrypting the CRA file. After the process is finished, you can just hit any key on your keyboard to close this software. Now you should see two new decrypted CCI format files show up here. We can just copy those two decrypted CCI files from here and paste back into the external hard drive. Then we can delete those CRA files on the external hard drive too. There is no need to keep those files anymore. Also, we can delete the CCI and the CRA files inside of the decrypto software folder. If you want decrypt the CRA files next time, just simply copy the CRA files inside of this folder and run the bat file again. So inside of the external hard drive, we should only have the new decrypted CCI format games. Those CCI games are ready to use on the Steam Deck. We can now unplug the external hard drive and plug back into the Steam Deck. Let's go to the external hard drive and copy those two CCI format ROMs and paste them into the Steam Deck SD card. Please see the Steam Deck SD card location on the screen. Make sure the game files are pasted into this location on your Steam Deck SD card. Now we can close this window and unplug the external hard drive. The next step we need to do is to add the 3DS game into the Steam OS gaming mode interface. This step will be exactly the same as I showed in Chapter 2, so I am not going to explain here step by step again. We can see the Super Mario Bros. 2 and the Tekken 3DS game have been shown up here. Now we can boot the game from here. Make sure you set up the controller when you boot up a game for the first time. This only needs to be done once per game. Here you go guys, we can now run CRA 3DS games without any issues on the Steam Deck. Remember to check the detailed step for controller setup and adding the 3DS games into the Steam Deck gaming mode interface from Emu Deck in Chapter 2. That's all for how to play 3DS CRA format games on the Steam Deck. In the 3D emulation, the fast forward feature will allow us to speed up the game. This is pretty handy in some games. We can simply press a preset button to switch on and off the fast forward feature during the gameplay. As you see here, my preset button is the right hand joystick. Once I press down the right hand joystick, it will turn on or off the fast forward feature. Next, I will show how to set this up in the emulator. First, make sure you have a keyboard and mouse connected with your Steam Deck. This will make this process much easier. We need to put the Steam Deck into the portrait mode first. This will allow us to see all the information on the emulator software. To do this, just simply right click on your mouse and select Configure Display Settings. Then pick the second orientation from the right and click Apply. Now we need to rotate the Steam Deck 19 degree and close this window. Let's go to the Start menu, then All Application and run the 3DS emulator Citro. From the top menu select Emulation, then click Configure. Make sure the emulation speed here is set at 100%. This is the global emulation speed. Then click Controls from the left side menu. Click the hotkeys from the top menu. Then we need double click on the toggle alternate speed. Press a key on your keyboard and sign up a key to this action. I will use keyboard key number 1 for this action. After the key is signed, we can just click OK. Then click OK on the bottom to confirm this change. I will use Pokemon X as an example for the game setup. So right click on the Pokemon X game and select properties. Make sure for the set emulation speed, the emulation speed should bring all the way to the max as shown on throttled. 
Now we can click OK on the bottom to confirm this change. Just remember this process need to be set once per game. Now we can just bring the Steam Deck back to the light skip mode. Next, we need to switch back to gaming mode. Then we can start up the Pokemon X. Then press the Steam button and select Controller Settings. Make sure your controller current layout template is Emuldeck Citrus 3DS. From here, select Edit Layout. Then move to Joysticks. Under the right joystick, select Click. Now I will send the keyboard key number 1 here which is the same key we previously signed in the 3DS emulator. Now we can press button B and back to the game. Now if I press down the right joystick, we can see the game speed change from the bottom of statesbar. With this fast forward key, we can always speed up if we want during the gameplay. To set the game visual improvement, open 3DS emulator Citra from desktop mode. Then click Emulation from the top menu and click Configure. Select Graphics from the left side menu. Then set the internal resolution to 3 times native, which is 720p. Most of 3DS games will run perfectly with 720p at 60fps. And it looks amazing on the Steam Deck. Then we can click the OK button from the bottom edge. It's kind of covered by the states bar. Now we can close the emulator. Next, I will show how to change the game resolution during gameplay. If the 720p is too high, we can always change the resolution during the gameplay. To do this, press the L4 button to bring up the menu bar. Then go to Emulation, Configuring, Graphics, Internal Resolution. We can change to two times if see if that game will perform well. So basically we can change the game resolution anytime during the gameplay by pressing the L4 button to call out the menu bar. I will set the resolution at 720p since most of the game will be fine with this. That's all for this section. If you have already done this before, you can skip to step 2. Press the Steam button and go to Power. Then select Switch to Desktop mode. We are now at Desktop mode of Steam Deck. Click the Start menu. Under System, click Console. After the console is open, type PASSWD. Then hit the Enter button on your keyboard. Now you are required to set up a password. Make sure you remember this password. It will not show anything even when you are typing your password here. Just please remember it for the future use. Just hit the Enter button on your keyboard after you type in your password. Retype your password again and then hit the enter button. It should see password update successfully. Now we can close this window. Step to enable the gyro controls for emulators. First, we need to open Emule Deck on your desktop, and then open Tools and Stuff. Select Gyro DSU. Enter your sudo password, and click Install Gyro DSU. The Steam Deck Gyro DSU is now installed on your Steam Deck. We can now reboot our Steam Deck to have the gyro control working properly. That's all for the 3DS emulation. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Don't forget hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching.